I know a knot for that. Hi, I'm Lou and this is Lily Rowe with her biscuits. <laughs> and today we're going to show you how to tie a timber hitch, which is a very handy knot for forest school. It's sometimes called an elephant's knot, so we've also got an elephant to help yeah. us. Yes, a knot, that's right. Now, the timber hitch is great for dragging stuff, dragging logs, dragging poles. It constricts around what it's tied around. I also use it to tie up my hammocks and it could also be um, used to tie the first knot if you're doing like a ridge line between two trees. So not so good for the second final knot, but for the first one, very handy knot. So. Bubba wants to make a log dog to take for a walk and you know her rope kept falling off so let us tie the timber hitch because that would be the perfect knot for the job. So it works quite well with two people because one person can be the elephant. Will you be my elephant Bubba? You, you hear you be my elephant? You hold that? Okay and one person's going to tie the knot around the log. So I've got my log here. Now um, I'm going to use certain vocabulary for knot tying purposes. Now if this is new to you I recommend checking out my other video which is like an introduction to knot and it's got all the terminology and things about tying knots at forest school so I'll pop the link in the description below. But I've got my working end and my working end is going to go around the log and I've got the standing part here and my working end is going to go all the way around the standing part. Are you going to hold this my, my elephant? You so the elephant holds the dead end, the standing end, okay? So I've taken my working end and it's gone all the way around 360 degrees back to itself. So I just check that I've got the right bit, it should slide, it should slide like a lasso. And then I take my working end and all I'm going to do is just wrap it around itself a few times. Now for a log this size, probably three wraps would be fine. And to tighten it, you need the elephant then to pull on the dead end or the standing end. And then that shrinks round and grabs the log so that then the elephant, come here elephant, you can take your log dog for a walk. Oh, <laughs> okay, you be the elephant. You pull the rope. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Should we tie it to the elephant? There we go. There, the elephant's going to take his log for a walk. Are you going to take the elephant for a walk? There you go, look, the elephant's taking the log for the walk. You can take the elephant for a walk. Another way of thinking about the timber hitch knot is to think about at one end of the rope folding over and just wrapping it around itself or just twisting it up like that and that's your wraps and then taking the dead end of the rope and you see you've made like a little eyelet with those wraps and you can thread that dead end <laughs> through that eyelet and that makes your your lasso and then you can take <laughs> thanks bubs and then you can take your log and put it through that lasso and pull the ends and you can see that's another way of sort of understanding the knot another way of kind of looking at it so if you're working with younger children, you might change the vocabulary that you're using. So instead of the working end and the standing part and the dead end, you've got Sid the snake and he's got his head and he's got his belly and he's got his tail. And perhaps we might use rhymes or stories to help us tie the knot. So here's one that I've just made up for tying the timber hitch. So, slither Sid around 
the log so heavy. Wrap his head around his belly. Wrap him around himself a lot. Pull on his tail to tie the elephant knots. Although Sid did lose his tongue doing it. <laughs> so a couple of things to look out for if you're helping other people tie this knot is there's a couple of common errors to watch for. The most common one is that people wrap around the wrong part. So instead of kind of going all the way around and back on themselves, they wrap around the other part, the standing part like this. And then when they pull on the tail, it doesn't tighten like a lasso. So it is quite obvious if it's been tied wrong because it's not, it's not tightening. Um, so you need to always make sure that you come all the way around 360 degrees and always I always encourage the children to do a little check there does it run freely like an eyelid and then you wrap around that part so you know that it's that's the right part <coughs> the other um, common it's not an error as such but um, thing to watch for particularly if you're doing rope lines between two trees that you're going to stand on or use a hammock on is that when people do the wraps they've, they've still tied it around the right part but when they do the wraps they keep them really tight like this and then tighten it up and that means you're not going to get as much friction as if they're spaced out so particularly if you're rigging a hammock or a rope line something where it matters whether or not the rope slips make sure that you space out those wraps all the way around the circumference of the log or the tree. So if you were using the timber hitch to tie up a hammock or make a rope line of some sort you need to tie it on a vertical surface like a tree. So I'm going to just show you what that looks like. So you're going to take the working end around the tree and if you imagine this piece here is the long end that's attached to the hammock or, or whatever. So we're going to ignore that end. We're going to take the working end around that standing part. Make sure that it still runs freely. So we make sure we've got the right end of it. And then I'm going to wrap it around itself. Now, if this is being done for something that you're going to bear human weight on as in a hammock or a rope bridge you want to make sure that your wraps are going at least halfway around the tree if it's a thin diameter tree you probably want the wraps to be going all the way around the tree to get maximum yeah. friction on something that's going to bear human weight so as you can see i can now pull on the dead ends and it constricts around the tree like a lasso I've lassoed an oak tree Bubba ha <laughs> ha I've caught it <laughs> yeah I've got it now one of the great things about the timber hitch is because it's just wrapped around itself even if you pulled it really really tight like if this was a rope bridge and we've had many children bouncing on it and it's been pulled really tight it still should be really easy to undo once the tension's released so the idea is it just kind of will fall, fall apart once um it's uh, it, it's untied So very secure when it's under tension, but easy to undo when that tension is released. If you're using the timber hitch for dragging logs, something to be aware of is as you drag, the log tends to naturally end up like horizontally going through the wood, which then drags up a lot of kind of sticks and leaves, and it's not the most efficient way of dragging. So we really want it to drag more vertically in line with the rope. So there's a little trick to, to do this to, um, to make it drag in the right direction and that is to turn the knot into a killock hitch. 
So what we do with this is we've got the timber hitch tied and I'm gonna just add in a half hitch in the direction that I want the stick to travel in. So one way of doing it is just to cast a loop in the rope, the end of the rope that you're gonna pull and then place the end of the stick through it and you can see that half hitch is just like a blanket stitch kind of thing. And then that means when the elephant pulls, okay, pull bubs, it will always go in line with the rope. Go on, bubs, pull. Okay. The other way to tie the half hitch is that Again, take the rope in the direction you want to pull it and just pop your thumb on top and then just bring the rope around the log and take the working end and without changing direction, just pop underneath where your thumb is and pull that loose end through. And you can see that's exactly the same thing. It's that half hitch. And again, it will just help you pull the stick in the right direction. Another really handy use of a killer hitch is if you want to bundle up a lot of thin diameter sticks together. So whether it's firewood or maybe a bundle of willow, um, using a killer hitch is a way of kind of keeping it all neatly together. And particularly if it's very long, like a bundle of willow, then um, that does the job nicely because you can add in lots of half hitches. So to start, I'm gonna just do my timber hitch as normal. So I'm gonna wrap around itself a few times and then tighten that up. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'm doing my timber hitch up one end of the bundle. And then I'm gonna move my rope along and I'm gonna add in one of those half hitches and pull the ends of the rope through. keeping the tension on. And then if my sticks are really long, I can keep going Mama. along the bundle. <laughs> Thanks, the elephant helping. And you can see if I've got like lots of willow, I could just keep going like lots of half hitches all the way along at the bundle and when I get to the end if I do two of these half hitches next to each other then actually two half hitches make the clove hitch which will then kind of anchor it and lock it down so that it doesn't unravel so I've got a clove hitch there and sometimes if I'm kind of collecting a bundle of willow and have to walk a distance, if I've got a long end like that, I can then tie it to the end of the bundle and it gives myself a little shoulder bag to carry it by as well. So that would be another really useful use of a killock hitch is bundling up sticks. So there you go, the timber hitch and the killock hitch, two really handy knots for forest school. Have you used these knots at forest school for different purposes? Let us know what you've used them for in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel, thumbs up, so that you can join us in the woods again next time. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> The timber hitch or elephant knot is good for dragging things a lot. <laughs> Easy to wrap and unties with ease. Use it the next time you head to the trees. <laughs>